Hey guys, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into Le Mom Life. So today I have a four to nine month video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing seven things that I feel are must-haves and that we have been using a whole lot. So I'm trying to do it a little bit different than my previous must-have videos, which by the way, if you have not seen, I will link up top somewhere so that you can go ahead and watch my previous ones. But um, for this video, I wanted to do just seven things because I feel like at this stage, there are so many options. I thought it would be more helpful if I shared just a short list of the things that we specifically have been loving. Now, I will be sharing a more extensive list on my website. So by the time this video goes up, the post should be up. I will link the post down below. So if you want to see a more extensive list, go to that post, check it out. Also. Anything that I mentioned in this video will be on my shop list on Amazon. So on Amazon, I have a, a nice little list of all the things that we have been loving that we order over and over again and that we use. So you can click the link down below to shop any of the things I mentioned in this video. So let's get right into it. One of the things that we've been loving are sippy cups. Sippy cups are essential between months four and nine because you want to start teaching your babies how to hold the cup themselves and how to uh, drink from a cup. It's also a common recommendation by pediatricians to start somewhere between four and nine months. So the sippy cup that we've been loving at the moment is the Avent sippy cup. I will link it and you can see a picture of it in this video. It's a really easy sippy cup for the child to use. What we do is we fill it up just about an ounce at a time and we just let her play with it. That's how we started. We let her play with it so she would hold it. She kind of would just experiment and now she is definitely getting the hang of drinking on her own. It doesn't really matter which one you go with, just start using a sippy cup. So for my number two item, I wanted to mention kind of a series of items teething toys teething medicine and what we've been loving is our amber teething necklace now I know that the amber teething necklace does not have any scientific evidence behind it it's more anecdotal evidence but just from having two kids and seeing the difference between the necklace on and the necklace off I definitely think that amber teething necklaces are effective so the claim is that the necklace has something called succinic acid in it which is an anti-inflammatory and whenever your body heat reacts with the necklace it releases that anti-inflammatory into the body and it's not just for babies adults use it too and uh, some adults swear by it so and for me having two babies i i definitely would recommend it i think it works i definitely see a big difference in the level of irritation in my baby when she has the necklace off versus on um, when she has the necklace on, she's not as irritated. She has a better time, a better day versus when she doesn't have it on. If you're not so much into the TV necklace, make sure you have some sort of pain relief medication on hand because sometimes the teething can just be out of control and it doesn't matter what you do, the baby is just in pain. And in that case, we typically give her some Tylenol. Um, we don't like to give our kids medication unnecessarily, but for her, we've needed to give her Tylenol, so it's been a lifesaver. And then teething toys, you can get just regular teething toys that do not need to be refrigerated but then there are also some that you can refrigerate and basically they provide a cooling sensation to the baby when the baby chews on them so it really depends on your baby and what your baby likes but I thought I'd mention those teething essentials sort of your teething arsenal for number three, I wanted to mention the high chair. So I think this is around the time when we got a high chair for our son between the months four and nine. And I think a high chair is a great developmental tool, but it also makes your life as a mom a lot easier because it's convenient. So I will put Giselle in the high chair when I just need to get something done. I'll put her in the high chair and just, you know, maybe put some snacks down for her, let her relax. Um, she'll go in the high chair for breakfast and dinner times with the family. Family so that she can begin to uh, grow accustomed to sitting down at the dinner table and having dinner which by the way I think is one of the reasons why she started eating a lot sooner I did a video on baby leg weaning where I talked about how she just was interested in eating a lot quicker than Elon was 
and I think it has a lot to do with having another child that she can see and then our dinner times and our breakfast times around the table so I think that a high chair is a must-have it doesn't matter which one you go with but we've been loving our ingenuity high chair which I will be doing a review video on because I just think it's fantastic um, I wish I got it for Elin uh, so yes a high chair is a must-have for number four play yard play gates or a play pen Giselle does not like the play pen so we kind of left the play pen over at my mom's for whenever we're down there seeing her so that she can use it but um, she just doesn't like the playpen. We used to be able to use it with our son. He would stay in it and play for long periods of time, but she just is not having it. So what we're gonna have to invest in here really soon are some baby gates. So baby gates are great because you can section off an area or a play yard. A play yard is kind of, it's kind of the same idea as the baby gate. It's a little circle or octagon type of shape and they have to stay within that contained space. Um, but for our baby, she doesn't like contained spaces. She will cry if you just leave her somewhere where she can't get out. So the baby gates are what's gonna work for our family the best because that allows her more freedom. She can crawl around and play, but I know where she is and she can't get to where I don't want her to get to. For number five, I put down safety. So outlet covers, drawer locks, power strip covers, all of those things are essentials. Every baby is different. Your baby may not care about outlets, but our baby does. She goes for the outlets. She goes straight for the plugs. Um, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna figure out how to open drawers really soon, which is kind of scary. So drawer locks, power strip covers, and outlet covers are essential. For number six, I wanted to encourage you to get toys that help the baby developmentally. There are tons of toys out on the market. I mean, tons and tons of toys. But I think that it's important to be intentional about the kinds of toys you get because you can either buy something that's not gonna benefit the child in any way, shape, or form other than to just distract them, or you can do two things at once and distract them and encourage their developmental progress. So we have been loving our IKEA tunnel and this tunnel is awesome because it encourages development on multiple different levels, cognitively, physically, affectively. Giselle loves to crawl through the tunnel after her brother, so she's learning interaction and communication skills. Um, she just loves to go through it. I play peekaboo with her and she'll laugh and smile when she sees my face on the other end and she's physical because she she crawls through that thing so fast she will crawl through that tunnel in like two seconds flat i also love books as you all know the books that i would recommend between months four and nine are the sensory books so the touch and feel the books that have some sort of texture that the baby can touch and when you're reading it you can kind of grab the baby's hand and have the baby touch the textures and then you're telling them what that is and doing that over and over again i feel like really benefits the child uh, the child's brain development and just their memory and just them learning something new so yes get get some toys that encourage development some books that are touch and feel and something similar to the tunnel that does more than one thing at the same time and then for number seven I wanted to talk about something we have been absolutely loving I don't know what we do without it and that is the sleep sack our baby is extremely active and we were concerned about her safety so right away as soon as we transitioned her to the crib i knew she is not the baby that we can put anything extra in the crib with so i'm really adamant about following the recommendations that are given for the baby's safety um but with elam we, we we were a little bit more flexible as we learned him and we learned what worked and what didn't work we were a little bit more flexible but with giselle there is no uh extra in the in the crib i put her down on a flat sheet that is tucked in tight so there are no gaps or anything like that that she can get her face stuck in 
she has a mesh liner around the crib because she will put her hand through the crib and get her legs stuck through the bars so we were like uh-uh <laughs> we're gonna put a liner in this crib so we bought a mesh one for extra breathability i will link the kind that i have in my amazon shop so check it out we keep our house pretty cool fairly cool and then over the winter it was cold so what we decided to do was invest in a couple of sleep sacks so we bought her a couple sleep sacks you can either buy the halo sleep sack which we have one of those we love it or you can also buy sleep sacks from carter's carter's has affordable sleep sacks as well i think she likes it too because she's free to move around in the crib but she's also covered and nice and warm so what i'll typically do is i'll most nights i'll try to put her in a long sleeve onesie when it's a little bit cooler and then i'll put the sleep sack on give her her pacifier and it's lights out she loves it that's her little routine we love the sleep sack i would definitely recommend getting a couple trying it out and seeing how your baby likes it that wraps up my four to nine month must have video i've been wanting to do this for quite some time so i hope that it's helpful to you mommies if you found anything helpful in this video please remember to give it a thumbs up so that i know share it with your other mommy friends and if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss my next upload i'll see you guys in the next video bye